What's up everyone, it's Mike back again today, MFA. Thanks for tuning into the channel, hope you're all doing very well. Right, today we've got an RTA. This is a mouth-to-lung RTA and it's from a company called Xfabe. It's called the Expromiser version 3 Fire. Now this one is 22 millimeters in diameter and it's about seven inches in length. And I've got the polished stainless version here. So it's quite a nice look at this one, albeit a little bit tall. Now I've got the four milliliter capacity. It does come in a two mil as well. And we've got it sitting on top of the Nunchaku single 18650 regulated device. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down low. I'll show the packaging that it comes in. We're gonna break it all apart as much as I can do with this one. And then we're gonna throw a build in it and we'll come back up top and I'll tell you what I think of it. Okay, see you down low in a bit. Right, we're down at the table. Here's the box that the V3 Fire comes in. So we've got some nice thumb indentations to help remove the lid. There's some information on the back there for you. It's four milliliters in capacity, this one. It does come in a TPD compliant two milliliter version as well. And I've got the stainless polish version, so you can just take the lid off like so. So inside you'll find this pull out instruction manual in a few different languages for you. You've got the usual baggie here with the blue screwdriver, lots of different O-rings and two spare screws. Right, here is the expromiser. Then I've got it in the polished uh, stainless steel. So first thing you'll notice we've got this rather long drip tip here which is held on by two o-rings there. Quick look at the bore, about four millimeters or so. All of these sections do come apart but uh, I'm having real tr trouble removing this top section. I'll go into detail in a minute. I have got it apart once but uh, I can't get it apart this time so I'll show you very shortly. We've got x vape on the bottom there, Expromiser, usual markings. We've got an adjustable 510 pin and it's surrounded by a peak insulator. Now the airflow control ring does pull off like so. This section actually unscrews as well. So it's a good idea to put a few drops of e-liquid on these o-rings to help uh, assist you. But we have got adjustable airflow. You can literally have one hole showing here. But it is a little bit weird this because if you have a look we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five holes on one side and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six holes on the other. So just show you here. So you can have it just with one hole on one side but if you start going up and you start having one on one side and two on the other so it's a little bit confusing really because you can't have the smallest hole on both sides but if we just go this way around you can start having like the biggest hole on one side and then you can have two holes three holes which is the same and you can have all five open on both sides but like i say if you want the smallest one you can only have it on the one side there but anyway let's take the base off so we have got this nice knurled section here this all does come apart but like i say i'll show you very shortly what i mean so we'll come to the base in a minute. So a quick look at the chimney section. So we have got dome invern on there. Nice reduced bore there. So this this is the tank section. This holds the the glass. And just be careful, there is an o-ring underneath this piece of glass here, and another one on top, a clear one. The chimney section this spins around. You notice this top piece spinning as well. This is the juice flow. As you can see these cutouts here, this is basically used for the actual juice flow. But if you just, this chimney will unscrew. Now the first time I did it, it pulled out this bottom piece as well. But uh, 
for love nor money, I cannot get this piece apart. I've tried a pair of mold grips as well, and it is supposed to come apart. And this piece here is supposed to pop out, and I just cannot do it anymore. Like you're supposed to be able to hold on to this knurled bit here. This bit will come off. I think there's another part of the chimney there which is stuck in there, and it's just spinning round. So that is a bit of a con for me, but. You can do the top section. This is your top airflow. So it feels rather like the OBS series side filling and you push it down. There's an O-ring there. Tighten it up and that's as tight as it goes there. But I cannot get this piece off and uh, I did it once but I can't again so it's it's not very good really, I've tried mole grips on it. This piece used to pop out and it's not popping out anymore. So yeah, I'm not gonna butcher the tank by trying it now. So we'll just put these parts together again. So put the chimney back in, hold on to this piece. Get this O-ring on, that sits there. Glass section, so that just goes over the top. falling out now but you'll just see inside there there is another clear o-ring try it like that okay that's in there and as you can see, this chimney moves around as well, which is a con to me as well. Because when you try and screw it back on the base, sometimes it doesn't go on properly. Well, I'll just try it now for you. As you can see, it's snagging. So all in all, the, the machine quality on this it leaves a lot to be desired. Try and line this up. See, I can't catch the threads. It's just gone now. But, yeah, I'm not overly impressed with the way that this one's built. So, there you go. That's the one I purchased, and that's what we got. So, we'll have a look at the base now. There you can see we've got the three juice inlet holes. So this is where the cotton goes. We've got the usual mouth lung style bill deck. So you've got one screw on either side. You've got the positive block and the negative block. This side, this is your positive block. We've got about two and a half millimeter airflow insert. Now there's no spare inserts with mine. So that's the restriction you're going to be playing with. So we'll put a little build in it now. Right, so today I've got some my favourite superfine mouth lung fused Clapton wire from Vanny Vape, stainless steel 316L. It's a 30 gauge times 2 plus a 38 gauge wrap. Right, so we've got, got our coil here. You've just got to try and trap it underneath the screw, which isn't the easiest thing to do in all honesty, especially with this wire because it's clapped I'll just raise it slightly. Right, usually I would recommend using the, the coily tool, but with this particular deck, I think it's easier to do what I've done there. You twist it round the actual post and then snip afterwards. Right, we've got it on our mod. It's coming out at 0.59. This R2 nugget does read a little bit low normally. Bed the coils in. Right, so that looks about right. So let's put some cotton in now. Right, I've got a little piece of Muji cotton.
think I'm lazy and a little crazy Could it not be the way that you've made me Stolen my heart, my heart to my soul Just because you like to be in control Excitement is what it's all concerning If you're scared then it's time for t- Right, the juice I'm using some homemade black current from Dark Star Vapor, five milligrams. Right, just putting it on the artery nugget because the artery was playing up a little bit. So we got 0.59. Right, so that's that then. So we can now put the the rest of it together. Let's just put a little bit of juice around here. Make life a little bit easier. Here you go. Right, and now to fill it up, grab hold of this section, turn it around a few times, it exposes the fill port. So fill it up, we've got four milliliters in this one. It does come in a two milliliter version as well. Put a little bit of liquor around here as well. It just helps when you're doing these things up. And then twist it round a couple of times. Right, it's all right. I haven't forgotten about the juice flow control. Well, I had, but I'm doing it now for you instead. But when you've put your e-liquid in, make sure that the actual, this piece here is shut. Now, it would have been good if they had actually made it so you can see it visibly within the glass window here. But when you put the e-liquid in, you can just twist it round this top piece here and you can have either one two or all three holes exposed but like i say half of it's hidden by this uh, outer section here so yeah another little quirk with this device but when you want to go and fill it you just shut off all of the holes and that way that you will not flood the deck then you're good to go so let's go back up top and I'll tell you what I think about it. Right, we're back up top with the Expromiser V3 Fire. Now, I've got the K Fun Prime by SXK drip tip on here because the one that came with it, there's nothing wrong with it apart from the fact that it's stainless steel and I don't like stainless steel with my mouth in case you knock your teeth. And it just looks too tall for me. Uh, and the bore in it's uh, quite wide really as well. I thought they should have narrowed it down a bit because that would have uh, given better flavour in my opinion. Now I think it looks a lot better with this drip tip on because it is a tall device. I've got the 4 milliliter version here. The 2 milliliter version I believe is a, a little bit shorter. But let's go on to some pros and cons with this one, shall we? Right. If you look at it, it looks really nice. It's very nice sort of polished chrome type finish on it. It's got all your knurlings on there to assist with undoing everything. But as you saw down low, I've had this apart once fully and I tried to do it again then for you. And I could not undo this top section and I've used mole grips and everything. And also, I took the chimney part out. That chimney part is actually in two. There's another bit that I can't get out. And I didn't want to get a pair of pliers in there because it would ruin the threads. So I've left it in there. But it's so frustrating. I've actually like, got score marks on my hands where I've like tried to do it. So if you can manage to take this one apart, I strongly recommend lubing it up with some e-liquid on all the stick the sections put it around the o-rings so you don't have the issues that uh, i face but when you first get it you are going to have a nightmare doing this if you if you get one that's like mine it is not easy to, to break apart now i know a lot of tanks are, are like that but this one because it's got so many different parts it's just it leaves a lot to be desired in my opinion now another con with this one uh, if we actually take the deck off I know you can take that bottom piece off as well but comes off all right but um, with the chimney section I don't want to put it too far up it 
you can put your finger in there and wobble it around. So if you haven't got it quite straight and you put this on and then you go to do it back up, like now it's not catching the threads right. So you sort of have to use your fingers and wiggle it so it's in the right place. And uh, it's just not catching the thread and it's it's just not on. It's just <laughs> it's not good. I don't want to swear on it, but it really has peed me off a little bit. This one has. I can't even do it back up again now. There you go. I've just wiggled that air, um, juice flow control and now it is doing up. But yeah, unfortunately for me, the build quality on this is uh, shocking, in my opinion. For an RTA that retails $49.99, $49.99, it, I don't know if I've got a duff on, maybe I have, but um, yeah, I'm just not happy with the actual build quality. You should be able to take it all apart without any dramas. Now, I've looked at the Exploded View, I've seen other reviews on it, I know the, how to do it, take it apart, so it's not just me being a numpty but I couldn't break it all apart for you this time. So it means when I go to clean it, I'm not going to be able to do it uh, properly. But disregarding all that, let's get on to the performance of it. Right, I've got it 20 watts and it's coming out at 0.53 with that uh, super fine mouth lung uh, fuse clapton wire. Right, one airflow hole open on either side, the, the largest hole, and it's perfect restriction for me. The airflow's quite smooth in that particular mode, and the flavour is really good. Now, let's try and adjust it. It's quite hard to undo the airflow with it on the mod as well. In fact, I'm going to have to take it off. Right, for all you... I've lubed up this as well, this airflow control ring. It's probably better to take it off and then put it back on. Let's try and get it in the mouse to lung mode. Right, we've just got the, where is it? The smallest hole open now. So this is the tightest restriction you're gonna get. Now the actual bore of the airflow is about 2.5 on. There's no inserts that come with it. So this is what we got. Now you get a very good restriction to it. Like I say, in that particular mode, I think the Berserker, the Galaxies is definitely better as well. So there are definitely better um, true mouth to lung uh, RTAs out there for me. But this one works best in restrictive direct to lung. If you put it on, let's just put it on three holes open on either side this time. So as you can see um, here, it's really loud and it's a little bit turbulent as well. I'm just going to put the wattage up a little bit more, 24 watts. But like I say, that is not a mouth to lump because you can take a really long put on it. But it's got really good flavour though in, in that particular mode. So if you're all for like a doggy style type of vape, then I think you might like this one. Uh, I'll put it fully open for you, just to give you a, a sound effect on this one. Just sounds turbulent, the flavour diminishes and it's just not very pleasurable. So for me, one, the largest hole on either side open is the perfect bait for me, but for me, that uh, fanny vape fuse clapton wire actually works really well because like I say this is more like a very restrictive direct to lung but yeah that's it it's not a bad tank albeit the one that I've got so I'm not very happy with the build quality on it 
but the flavour is pretty good. I'll probably carry on using this one, but I just won't be taking it apart too much uh, for obvious reasons. So I'm not going to give it a thumbs up because my version didn't warrant a thumbs up. This is one of the more expensive atties that I've actually bought, but uh, I suggest watching other reviews out there. I know Todd's Reviews has done it. Phil Pizzardo, all of those outer lung type people would have reviewed it. So it's worth checking those out to see if anyone else encountered any issues. But for me, the way that chimney sort of wobbles around to try and do the base on, and the fact that you can't undo all of the sections, is a bit of a, a letdown for me. So uh, yeah, not that uh, overly impressed with this one. So if you did enjoy the video, guys, Please give it a thumbs up. Uh, for anyone new that's watching the channel, you like what you see, consider subscribing and make sure you hit the little bell notification to be notified of all my latest videos. Now, I've got my own website. It's mf8.co.uk and I'm also on social media. It's Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. So until next time, guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.